All right, all right, all right. So a few days ago, the Cleveland Cavaliers got 4-1 out of the first round by yours, tru yours truly, my New York faithful. Jalen Brunson in his left-hand fadeaway sent them home in five games. I know I've said this like four times already, but I was there in, in person to witness the, the demise of the Cavaliers. And speaking of demise, man, Jared Allen quite literally said on Twitter yesterday, or not, it, I saw the quote on Twitter, but he genuinely said the lights were too bright. I could not believe my eyes. Darius Garland had a game where he shot the shot percentage of the date. He shot four for 20. 21 on 421. Karis Levert kind of scared me a couple times. Isaac Core, you had a good last game, but for the most part, it was a wonder to see you left open into brick shots. And same goes for Evan Mobley, honestly. I respect you. You might be great down the line. You were a DPOI finalist, but holy hell, he was awful on offense in the series. And Donovan Mitchell has lost back-to-back -back years to Jalen Brunson. Also, their bench is just a wash. Chetty's all right. Ricky Rubio is way too old to still be playing basketball. And Danny Green should be back on ESPN after this season. That being said, the league meetings, they, they're trying to prove some rules like increase the salary cap 10 million and the top three picks are done via I, I never know what that means but screw it and i'll take the extra 10 million draft lottery comes around and obviously cleveland's a playoff team also by the way actually i, ju I just took this screenshot remember how start today broke for me in my in my video with i think like the bulls look at that on start today it says status under maintenance after i called them out on twitter for start today being broken and and all, obviously the video itself they genuinely shut down the mode and i don't know when it'll be back up so for people who have been like oh why aren't you doing start today um this you know why now it's it's broken oh jb bickerstaff kick rocks buddy greg popovich got give greg popovich the bag give him the bag i have never seen him available come on come on greg tentative oh he's not signing he is definitely not signing also oh i, I still love that automatic automatic i signed this dude damian webb as the coach as long as he's not jb we need some new faces around here but anyways jared allen ever mobley the new offsprings of mitchell robinson and with that being said one of my first casualties for this team jared allen i am sending you to guangdong this would be pretty funny wouldn't it here's the thing with the cavaliers right in 2k i always run into this team in the finals because they're actually a very good 2k team a fantastic one literally top three as the years go on because darius gets way better and mobley does and donovan's already as good as he is at 26 they're fantastic and have a great future so it's kind of hard to do anything to this team not to admit too much controversy here but i think i'm actually gonna wait until like mid next season to make a trade just because i'm seeing a lot of the same culprits aside from Jalen Brunson, who really feels wrong to trade for seeing a lot of the same culprits that i normally do for now though ricky ruby and Dean Wade for two Chicago first. Just get them off the team. And we don't have any first round picks. We got a second round pick. I actually might sign the player if he's okay. You know, I'm going to trade our first next year for Sacramento 17th pick this year. I just found this in the trade finder. I would like to have a pick this year. We don't fall behind to the competition. And let me see. Keontae Johnson. Dang, he's 23. I know notoriously Jet Howard's a pretty good player in these draft classes. Keontae George is a little bit better overall wise than everybody. And he's also got a Donovan Mitchell ceiling. So maybe Donovan Mitchell could help him reach that ceiling. I'll take Keontae. My second round pick, I'll draft this overseas dude na seen, saying, eh, named James Nanaji. Keontae's a 75, significantly better than the dude that was picked right before him. Chetty Osman, you and that $7 million team option can head into free agency, buddy. And Dylan Windler, kick rocks. Oh yeah, Karis LeVert, he's getting re-signed. I rock with Karis, but at first I'm gonna see, can I afford anybody better? See, the thing is that this team had a lot of issues with, you know, depth. And also, I just feel like general issue of uh, a Coral being a non-shooting small forward that they needed to play defense, right? Am I really about to sign Dylan Brooks? Now, you know what? what let me get jeremy grant probably i'm gonna try and steal him from the blazers jeremy grant take like a couple more dollars than they would give you we'll give you a uh three years is good or a play option on it get throw a couple more dollars that should be good that, that should reel him in yep where his preferred destination now i feel like he'd be the perfect player for this cavaliers team with the, the three guard the three spot not the three guard jeremy grant mo bomba and mike conley all accept my contracts be our backup point guard uh starting small forward and backup center hopefully those actually go through because i don't know if we have the exact money for it let me see yeah i think it did you know just for them i'm a, this this uh g league dude earl jenkins is always here in free agency i'm gonna sign him technically speaking nobody else can actually sign this man they don't let the teams like the cpu team sign the g league free agents which is good actually found that out last year but um it's been a while since i've signed him so i'll sign him i know i signed mo Bamba, but i'm gonna offer yaka pertle too just in anticipation of maybe sticking to my word and uh let me see oh no he left anyway he went over there anyways you know in anticipation of uh trading away jared allen to finish out the team's uh free agent signings i got jonathan isaac to try and redeem himself over here maybe joe ingles for some veteran presence probably to not play any basketball and josh green the youngin from dallas i liked what he was doing over there during the season that's really should be the focus with the team is to sign as many depth pieces as possible see if you know what i'm saying we can mike conley got a little bit worse but that's fine and garland and moby are mobley are already 91 overalls dang jared culver's on our g league team and he got food poisoning for the season oh my god another dude just got food po all right we need to like socially distance in the locker room i'm bad i'm in our summer league that's the summer league or g league i don't know we got a pretty solid starters and bench lineup
lineup going right now damian webb first time coach i often get tired of like nba coaches that just get tossed around the league over and over again and are not even good like for example billy donovan's probably gonna get fired for chicago again even though he's been bad on them and the thunder like with all due respect why did you receive a second job i'm gonna give this team a shot and if we lose this year with another year we'll evaluate things see in regards to the knicks and cleveland series i know i've talked about it a little bit but talk about it more extensively first of all i loved how grit and grind and disgusting the series was and honestly i think the knicks and heat series has a lot of potential to do the exact same thing and i was honestly more disappointed in the cavaliers than i was appointed in the knicks like there was a lot of ugly games i think brunson barrett and randall all shot less than 30 percent from three but there was games where i mean darius Gar i mean garland and donovan and all of them had to be shooting worse only dude i was ever really consistently scared of on the cavaliers was uh was what's his name um karis lavert oh my god i forgot to re-sign him as a matter of fact go trade for him he's on the pistons they don't need him anyways they don't do nothing over there how's isaac doing you playing out uh, under under average oh no he's actually playing pretty decent ideally i was thinking alec burks for him hey you had alec burks last season anyways want to do this real quick there you go a second round pick got it done karis lavert welcome back to the team even if you're not playing right now i don't care we need you here for the culture we're 31 and 8 the best in the conference right ahead of the knicks do they make any offseason changes because usually not that good in 2k uh oh yeah wow they, they traded jalen brunson for michael porter Jr. i can't stand this donovan wants to re-sign yeah buddy you can re-sign all right fine take this contract it was funny actually i'm pretty sure i have mitchell robinson added on a psn i should go check what he's up to dang he hasn't been online in six months you don't even got the ps5 unless he made a new account i messaged this man in 2019 and said you changing your number to 23 and guess what he didn't answer me but he was 26 rj barrett first time all dang 28 evan mobley first time all-star with 13 and 12 a game seems about accurate and donovan and darius garland are here as well and actually i would rather uh, look at this our, our starters are gas dog we can't have them get injured run an 11 man rotation don't do all that we're good we could coast till the end just don't have anybody tear their acl please and speaking of the trade deadline jared allen the light's still too bright he's playing he's actually playing very well 66 percent we'll see if the lights are still too bright for you this offseason dang earl jenkins fractured right leg for the season luca most valuable victor rookie of the year amen thompson six man of the year victor dpoi desmond bain most improved and damian webb coach of the year that is our coach in his first season cooking no all nba players evan mobley made all defensive second team and we had uh, earl jenkins the g league dude made the all rookie second team before fracturing his leg the first seed and oh my god first round we go down 2-0 immediately we lost the first game by five and the second game by one i don't know how the sixers are the eighth seed maybe they got screwed over the injury i'm about to check right now actually because that's very uncharacteristic uh no not really i mean they missed a couple of games maybe that hurt that uh mb missed 10 games i don't know i don't see why they wouldn't be better than the eighth seed let's not mess around though first couple games oh my god donovan shooting 41 percent that's not very good mo bamba 30 percent josh green 40 percent karis lavert 23 per all right cut the rotation down i'm gonna cut it down to a nine man for now to lock in mo bamba gotta stay in there we need a bench big man but uh we are about to lose game three unless we come back we have lost game three and we're down 3-0 in the first round to the eight seeded sixers screw it just simulate the next game one three jeremy grant day to day two three there you go come on show some heart at least cleveland this is for you i gotta bring back braun and we have officially folded the cavaliers in the first round lose to the eight seeded philadelphia 76ers real quick two things i gotta check i got two words for you nash and paul mo bamba was absolutely garbage and Embiid put up 31 points per game on our bigs what happened to shame integrity i really don't get it the hawks and, and mavs go to the finals and the, i think the mavs just blew like a 3-2 or 3-1 lead to the hawks oh there goes lebron nicholas batum broke his vertebrae and retired that is a career anything any ending injury injury if i have ever seen one jesus christ draft lottery we don't even have any picks and it is time to move some of these frauds also someone told me in the comment section that if i wanted to remove untouchables for all the teams you just have to select all the teams so i go to team intel will they be they look it says Giannis is on see the guy just lied i'm gonna do it though because i'm gonna make some big trades i'm at least i'm gonna try to no it's crazy i had no clue that a uh, cody williams was the brother of jalen williams on the thunder and that i think i, I don't know i i seen it a few videos ago someone commented it you know what man there is absolutely nothing that comes to how close to how funny this would be to do in this video i don't know why the knicks traded jalen brunson but i'm about to trade for him jared allen you say you didn't like the bright lights well guess who does our new six man of the century jalen brunson welcome to the team i swear to god i did it i can't believe it hey i gave them a first round pick they're probably going trying to go into heavy rebuild mode because they suck jared allen's only got two years left there you go i don't know what's going on anymore you know what too i'm gonna run the the i'm gonna fulfill the purpose that the phoenix sons of old had donovan mitchell six foot one self is gonna play the small forward jalen brunson back to the two like he's next to luca and garland at the one will stagger their minutes across the game after that i'm trading mo bamba josh green and james and for zach 
Zach Collins in the seventh pick in the draft from Houston. Screw it. If you don't know what I was referring to, I'm referring to when the Suns had Isaiah Thomas, Goran Dragic, and Eric Bledsoe all starting. Yeah, this is that, but just worse. I mean, not worse talent wise, but worse in terms of morals. Also, since they're allowing me to, I do not want Zach Collins, dog. You could trade him. I'll take the 12th pick for him and another Miami unprotected pick. The seventh pick in the draft. Why is Ian Jackson always available? Why is Bronny and Ian Jackson always available? I don't understand. Wait, I'm in Cleveland. I was about to draft Ian Jackson, but I'm in Cleveland, dog. I have to do it. I can't not do it. I know I have 45 point guards, but Bronny James, welcome to the team. They were talking about Bronny is going to fill a need. No, he doesn't. We have eight of, eight of these. What? He, he's still available. At oh, wait, what? I got the eighth pick too? When did I get the eighth pick? What the hell? Did I always have this pick from the Bulls? Oh, did I get this last year? What the hell? Oh, we are cooking this draft. Jesus Christ. And the next pick. Literally, I think that's like four straight videos I draft that duo in the draft. I am so sorry. You know what? It says Aaron Bradshaw could be all NBA eventually. We need a center anyways. Take Aaron Bradshaw. Welcome to the team. I am so baffled. At this point, nothing makes sense for this team, so I'm going to give Bo Bo a contract. Is there any old Cleveland player out there I could sign? Like, is Alonjo G just still, you know, hanging around the league? Oh, yeah, Kevin Love. But you were here recently. Is there any other ones? Oh, perfect. Tristan Thompson, welcome back to the team. I signed too many players on accident, so Karis LeVert, I'm sorry, buddy. Great time has come. Training for two Kings picks. I was about to go and give Bronny minutes, but I just checked the rotation, and uh, I could already tell Bronny is in the G League. Oh, we'll see you next season. Hey, sometimes a troll simply has to troll. Don't mind that he's a little bit pissed off. He's been in the G League, but uh, Bronny James, your new starting power forward. Oh, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting terrifying. We are going for the shortest lineup in NBA history. Plus, uh, well, currently Bull Bull, but Evan Mobley is currently injured. Oh, my God. He's got a concussion for six to eight weeks immediately. Dog, you were just getting your stride. Hey, Donovan's an all-star starter. So is Darius Garland. And so is Evan Mobley. He's up on the bench, though. I admit, training for Jalen Brunson was a bit of a troll. And, well, he's still giving us 16 points, so who cares? We are 40 and 15. And why Jalen Brunson want to test free agency? What the hell is this? Resigned Zubots because I felt like it. Hey, Jalen, look, look, just because I love you, don't mean you exempt from, a, you know what I'm saying, criticism. Okay, he is kind of valuable. But I go get in any other six foot two guard and tell them to play point guard or shooting guard. Yeah, no, we'll just keep him. Okay, but for real though, let me try the click productions not being stupid challenge. Back to a normal lineup Garland at the one, Mitchell at the two, Jeremy Grant, Mobley, and Zubots with Brunson as six man, which is insane. And then, uh, well, Bronny, you're going to stay pissed off for this season, buddy. It's too annoying to keep putting him back in the lineup because he's not good enough. Luca wins MVP. Erica Clark, coach of the year. Wow. Becky Hammond somewhere fuming. RJ Barrett, all NBA second team. No Cavaliers on any team except for Mobley on defensive second. And we got all two rookie second team players. All rookie second team, two players, whatever. But Bronny didn't make it because he didn't meet the minimum games requirement. We tied with the Hornets for 58 wins. First round against Orlando. We actually made it out of a first round. Look at that. See you, Jared Allen. That's how you win a playoff series. Up 2-1 on the Celtics and 4-1. And Charlotte in the conference finals. Up 1-0. Up 2-0. Oh, great. Evan Mobley injured for one to two weeks as we get two, two, three. And there it is. Donovan Mitchell finals, uh, Easter Conference finals MVP. We're playing the Mavericks in the comp in the NBA finals and Bowl Bowl is starting because Evan Mobley's injured. I am hurt right now. Also, I do not know why Isaac Okoro was pissed off, buddy. You are not him. Evan Mobley's at least going to be out for probably half the series. Dang, I didn't even realize, but Earl Jenkins got another season in Andrew. My God. Dislocated right Patel. I might need to get rid of this guy just because of this. When we need you, you vanish. And Ronnie's in the rotation right now just naturally. Oh, we'll see how this goes. First game they won by 21 second game they went again by 22 luca had 51 on us third game we finally won by six fourth game they're up 3-1 after another double digit win Mo mobley is finally ready to return thank god we were fighting until we weren't and we lose in the nba finals to the dallas mavericks jeremy grant led the team in scoring in this final game darius garland shot two for eight with six turnovers and that is that dallas wins the championship over us bull bull was playing real unserious 38 percent the field. Bronny was awful when he was playing. And Okoro's got to go after that. Why was he so mad and got worse in the playoffs? Because you're not good. I don't understand. In his four starts that he had to take in the finals, Bo Bo, in the replacement of Evan Mobley, shot 19% from the field. He might actually be the reason we lost the championship. Sick to my stomach. DeMar went back to the Raptors and retired. And we didn't retire Kevin Love's number. Trade in line. Do we have any cool picks? Yeah, dog. I know what this team really needs. Bring Colin Sexton back to the land. Now, this right here is perfect. Zubots for Killian Hayes. We need Killian Hayes in Cleveland. I love Markel Fultz. I think trading Bo Bo for him is the perfect move for this organization. We need him on this basketball team. I traded one of our future first for the 15th pick in this draft, and I'm not even really sure why. And screw it. Give me 
a San Noel. Yeah, Evan Mobley, come back to the team, buddy. You're pretty decent. Yeah, the much who offered you? The Suns on some garbage? Yeah, no, I won't give you garbage. After that, well, screw it, man. I like Drew Holiday, too. Yeah, you know, I'm not really feeling Jeremy Green either. You know, I think Spencer Dimity would be a better fit for this team. Zach Collins, you don't really fit the direction I'm trying to go in here. We could just release you, honestly. The Lionel Banton, you fit exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, so in case you didn't notice what I was doing there, um, I traded for all point guards. Almost the entire team is point guards. So we are going to have the shortest team of all time. That's That was my dedication. Why have I got a, a fixation on doing this in the simulation specifically? But I felt like it. So our rotation now looks like Jalen Brunson at the one, Darius Garland at the two, Donovan Mitchell at the three, Spencer Dinwiddie at the four, and Evan Mobley at the five with Markel Fultz, Ian Jackson, Colin Sexton, Bronny James, and Killian Hayes. And this dude Bradshaw who's actually a center. And if anybody gets injured, don't worry. We got Drew Holiday, another point guard to step in. Why am I torturing the city of Cleveland? Well, they already did it themselves by being born there. Oh, look who it is. Jared Allen, three-time All-Star. Or probably two-time because it's glitched. Darius Garland makes it again. Donovan Mitchell makes it again. Honestly, I just walked away from the computer and came back and I just remembered what we're doing. The absolute troll season of hell. And honestly, with that being said, I want to check. Are we like the worst rebounding team in the league? Worst defense of something? We're, we're dang, the Rockets are crazy on offense. We are top two on defense despite our short, literally shortcomings. Bottom five in offensive rebounding. Middle of the pack in defense. And then I guess that means we're probably middle in the pack for the league, right? I don't know. Nope, we're bottom six or seven, whatever that is. But you know what, though? We are first in assists. That's what happens when you sign 47 point guards, especially Killian Hayes. Spencer Dinwiddie will resign. Don't worry, Spencer. We need you out here. We really don't. Take a two-year deal. Colin Sexton, you too. We, we desperately need you. I can't wait to face a god squad with a bunch of seven-foot seven foot demigods in the playoffs. Luka MVP. It's a bonus. Six men of the year. Dang. Five bench behind AD. Eli Arnold, 64 and 18. I don't know what team that is, but I don't think it's us. Giannis is on the Knicks. Don't know how that... Wait, is it because... No, no. I think it's... Uh, I guess he signed there. I don't know. We're the second best team in the Eastern Conference. First round against New York. Playing against Giannis. We have Spencer Dinwiddie guarding Giannis, right? I would assume. But guess what, dog? The, the League of Guards. Don't worry. Spencer Dinwiddie, lock up. Just lock up, dog. I mean it. Se seriously, please lock up. Donovan Mitchell is injured. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, I, when did you get injured? I was just looking at the rotation two seconds ago. Um, The guard experiment may be failing. And this might be the pinnacle of said failing. Kevin Porter Jr. has got the ball coming up the floor. And Bronny is guarding. Uh, What's his name? Giannis. But it said Kevin Porter Jr. is trying to cook on the right side. The former Cavalier. He goes to the basket and he misses the layup. The rebound by Colin Sexton. Colin Cavaliers. How? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Notice this, right? Colin Sexton, number two. Okay. Maybe I'm tweaking, right? Number two. Ian Jackson. How is this allowed? I have never, ever seen that. Never. Donovan Mitchell with an injury sign next to him. Runs straight into a double team of Giannis and RJ. But then he steps back and he misses. We do not have a center in the game. Ian Jackson, I think, is in that center. Hardy to the basket. Goes around. And he gets blocked by Jackson. Hardy around the basket. Down to Giannis. Giannis, he misses. Giannis, the rebound. Giannis back up again. And he hits it. Um, I'm going to have to go with the tall lineup next year. Donovan back up the other way. Crosses over a few times. Goes right to the basket all the way gets fouled and one brunson and garland both just sub back in and mobley who should have been in Giannis steps back goes right to the basket and shoots a fall away shot and hits it easily the dumbest thing i've ever done but hey it's fun brunson goes left steps back against his former team all the way to the basket and he takes a tough shot and it's in that's Jalen brunson for you all right fine let me take the wheel i'm the coach all right go to the cavaliers defensive settings Giannis get guarded by evan mobley for the love of god all right fine i could correct some mistakes there you go. That that's that's saved now. We got Wood against Spencer, but at least Giannis is guarded by a correct person. They're going for the game winner in game seven. If we lose because Giannis scored and Evan Mobley, well, I mean, he would have been scored. This would have been the matchup anyway. So, hey. And the pass down at Giannis. Oh, he gets fouled. I thought he was about to posterize Evan Mobley for the game winner. That would have been insane. Antetokounmpo at the line. A man who tends to miss free throws. Will he miss again? No. He greens it. A one-point lead with 6.5 seconds. Will he hit both? Yes, he does. We have no timeouts. And we are about to lose in the first round. Jalen Brunson up the up the other way. Jalen at the mid-range. Jalen pulls up and he misses. Rebound by Giannis and they smoked us. <laughs> they smoked us. Jalen, I'm not going to lie, dog. You might have to hit the road after that. That's insane. Mobley shot four for 13. Somehow the worst of the team, I think. Bronny shot the best. Ian Jackson. The youngins, of course, always. You know, it's funny. I think I replied to some dude on Twitter. He was like, yo, when you do the Cavs rebuild, please don't trade too much. And I said, maybe I will for you. Well, sorry, buddy. I have uh, I mean, I still got a lot of your team, but uh, not really. The Magic win the ring led by Jason Tatum. Wow. Ricky Rubio retired. All right, let's go for real this time. In the draft, we get the eighth pick from Sacramento. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I know I do this often as well, but uh, it's Cleveland, dog. I got to make sure I get both.
both of LeBron's kids on this team. You know, recently I've been trying to like approach these rebuilds and videos in general, like with a carefree approach. You know, I know things have gotten very systematic, fundamental, uh, business-like over the past three years of this channel and whatever. But uh, the reason why I'm here is because why I like being stupid or being very overtly smart on my t or on my league. Well, today I feel like being stupid. After our failed run of, um, you know, our failed run of getting a bunch of talent, even if it was all point guards, I feel like going with the young player approach, you know? So I'm going to trade Jalen Brunson and Markel Fultz for the fifth and second picks in the draft. Jalen, thank you for your time. It's been real, buddy. I know a lot of this is trolling, but uh, Colin Sexton does genuinely fit the mold of a backup point guard really, really well. So I'm going to keep him. But in the ultimate troll move, I'm going to trade power forward Spencer Dinwiddie and power forward Killian Hayes to the Warriors for pick number six in the draft. And I'm going to trade David Roddy and Drew Holiday for pick number seven. That leaves, with, that leaves us with Mobley, Donovan, Darius Garland, Ian Jackson, Colin Sexton, Ronnie James, Aaron Bradshaw under contract for the most part. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth picks in the draft. Yep, we are in pure domination. I'm not even going to try to like finesse and move up anymore. Go ahead and give me whatever players I can get. Although I would love to have Cameron Boozer on the team. But you know what? I'm a, 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 If he falls to two, he falls to two. That's how I'm feeling today. And nope, he is not going to fall to two. He goes to the Wizards. They deserve something decent in their life. Hey, DeLon Duran, I know they're saying you're second ranked in LeBron Hall of Fame and all that stuff. But Cole Pete is two. And we know what he does. He's a better overall. I take him with the second pick. Marcus Johnson goes third. Cooper goes fourth. And we are back on the clock with four straight picks. And one of these will 1 million percent be Bryce James. But first, hey, I almost took DeLon Duran two seconds ago. I'll take him here. Why not? Matter of fact, go get Bryce so I don't forget about him. AJ DeBonsta was good. And you know what? Tyron Stoke said he had LeBron on his potential card. And that is it. That is all of our picks. I think I drafted all wings, but that's what this draft was looking like. Literally, I drafted small forward, small forward, small forward, small forward, small forward. Not even joking. That's a, a pure case of a drafting the best player available. I'll let Keontae George move into free agency. This dude isn't really that good. Has never done anything for us, for real. A rarity that a player from the 2023 draft doesn't turn out actually being good. Maybe because I never really played him. Oh, good, buddy. I hope you get an opportunity somewhere else. And also, is there any chance we have money in free agency? No, not a chance at all. Are we like close to it at least? Uh, Well, not to Curry. 60. That is. Wait, wait, look, go to Curry again. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. Uh, it says if I offer him 63 million, he still wouldn't want to come here. That is insane. How much are the Warriors offering him? Actually, I could just check. Oh, 40. What the hell? He just doesn't want to be here. He knows what that Cleveland air smells like. He also probably has bad memories. You know, the three one. Yeah, I guess all the rookie contracts and then Mobley, Mitchell and Garland is enough for us to have no cap space. I respect it. Yeah. So if I sign nobody right now, we have a team of 13 players where we're nine of them, I believe, are all like elite level rookies or elite level drafted players of the past three years and usually those guys dominate in these simulations as you would expect because they're the young players of the new generation honestly with our last few uh roster spots i'm gonna sign even more young players give me kaden boozer and zong Ye is such a fire name that i'm gonna have to sign you two-year deal for zong Ye. this is probably one of the youngest teams of all time actually no i got some another topic to talk about into this next season our starting five and this is actually pretty um surprising is garland donovan mitchell ian jackson bryce james i believe we're in number 20 and evan mobley with Bronny as the seventh man off the bench because I put him back at point guard. Honestly, we could run the full 13 man rotation. I respect all the rookies. But I was going to say is that, um, so obviously I haven't talked about this extensively yet. This video is more so, you know, we'll be able to talk about the Knicks uh, if they, you know, ever get eliminated from the playoffs. Hopefully we never do them when the championship parade parade. But obviously the Cavaliers and Jesus Christ, look at how much this team is cooking right now. Directly correlated to the Knicks. The Knicks bounced them. Well, you see the last time the Knicks made the playoff and advanced to the second round 10 years ago, their average roster age was 32. The, what made me think of that is because I just drafted such a young roster with the Cavs. They had like six players retire that season. It was Jason Kidd, Kurt Thomas, Marcus Camby, Rasheed Wallace. And they had like three other guys that never played a game again. Shout out to James White. He was in the dunk contest. And I I, I had seen that their second youngest player was J.R. Smith, who was 27. And in this year's Knicks team, they're they're only they only have three players that are even older than 27, which is Randall, D. Rose, who doesn't play, and Evan Fournier, who doesn't play. But yeah, that was just a random thing. You know, it's kind of wild. Ian Jackson makes the all-star team. Is he the only one? I, I see Mobley here, but I don't think Donovan Mitchell or uh, or Darius Garland made the all-star team. We are 44-9. That's because Ian Jackson is the new leading scorer. This guy, I got to look up this guy's highlights one of these days because he is insane in this game. Hey, Donovan, I'm happy you're not pissed off. They're not getting as many touches anymore. You could hold this contract extension. If we lose this year, though, with all, I might go all in on the rookies. You might say goodbye to Darius and Donovan with their contract extension. See ya. Donovan is 30 years old. And also, Evan Mobley, he's the only player for us this entire season to even get injured. He just got injured again. His injuries are kind of cooking us. We do have backup centers, so I don't know why he's he's like this. Oh my God, Darius Garland, broken left leg. Bronny, hop in that starting lineup, please. Just for all the, uh, you know, the, the LeBron fans out there. Oh, never mind. I was going to show you that Bronny
Johnny and his brother were starting, but nope. Colin Sexton took the spot. Unless, yeah, no. Oh, wait, there it is. There, there you go. Bronny and Bryce. Luca MVP. K Cameron Boozer, rookie of the year. Cody Williams, once again, did not know he was Jalen Williams' brother. Eli Arnold, 68 wins. That is not our coach. Victor broke his left ankle for the season, and Jokic is also at two to four weeks. Giannis, our new rival, kind of, and Bryce will be guarding him this season if we play. That'll really be his kryptonite, you know? Bryce makes the all-rookie first team with 10 points, five rebounds, three assists per game. And we also had Koa Pete, Asad Noel, who wasn't even a rookie, but he hadn't played yet, and AJ on the second team. So wait, wait, wait. That dude that won 68 games, that is the Rockets. The Rockets team, they got Jared Butler starting, but they have Brandon Miller, Jalen Green, and Jabari Smith, and Robert Williams, and they are cooking over there in the West. And sadly, the New York Knicks did not make the playoffs this year, so we can't even get our rematch. Did I trade them, Dinwiddie? I don't think I did. Yeah, no, he got traded again. That is funny, though. I had him guarding Giannis, and now he's well, guarding him in practice. Speaking of Giannis, Milwaukee in the first round, and we win 4-1. Second round, playing the Pacers. I'm not gonna lie, I have the injuries on uh, on automatic whatever right now. If anybody was to get injured, I wouldn't know. I gotta turn that off. Tied 2-2, up 3-2. Oh my god, Donovan Mitchell left knee tendonitis for the season. Bronny James, welcome to the starting lineup. It is Bronny and Bryce trying to lead us to the promised land. We are up 3-2, and we're gonna go 4-2 to the conference finals. Ian Jackson against Jason Tatum. I don't know where Paolo is. Maybe they get rid of him for Tatum. Who knows? We win the first game, win the second game. Oh, man. 3-0 with no Donovan. 3-1. 3-2. There it is. 4-2. Brandon Miller and Bronny James, your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. Never mind. I thought someone on their team got injured, but I was looking at our team. Evan Mobley, Ian Jackson, Bronny James, and Garland against Jalen Green, Brandon Miller, and Jabari Smith Jr. Not gonna lie. This team here just feels like an accurate Cleveland team. We did lose game one. It wasn't a terrible game. I might need to cut the rotation. Anybody like underperform? Oh, well, Bryce did, but he starts. So yeah, nobody really underperformed. We're nearly blowing the lead, but I think we got it. We got it. Come on. Yup. Cleveland takes game two. Bronny James or Bryce Bronny at 16 points, leading the team. Jabari Smith at 32, but no no match to our in insanely deep team. Even Zongye is playing. I don't know what's happening right now, but they're kind of cooking us in these last few minutes. We're going to lose game three in, in Cleveland. We took one on their home court, but they got one on ours. This is still all without Donovan Mitchell, who was far and away our best playoff performer. Prior to him getting injured, I was looking at the stats and everything, and he was leading us in scoring. And we might lose a, a final just because of that. Uh, Colin Sexton led us in scoring. So far in the finals, Jesus, everybody is incredibly efficient too, except for AJ, DeBonsta, and Zongye. Wait, did Donovan just make it back? Donovan is back. Oh, snap. All right, for these last few games, I'm going to cut it down to a 10-man rotation. But it might be the last game. I don't know. But Donovan, please show us something. Oh, no. He's not showing us anything. Donovan Mitchell, Cavaliers 3-1 comeback. I'm manifesting it. We are in a tied ball game with one minute left in Houston. Why does it say B James next to his name, dog? That's not going to help us figure out who you are. The pass down to Mobley back out to Garland. Buddy, you're weak as hell. Shoot the ball. You had the lane. Oh my God. Garland pulls up the shot. That is off rebound by Williams. Not the best shot. A deep mid range after taking mad time with the shot clock. Jared Butler. I feel like they probably have a better point guard that got injured as well. I don't know. That's just my guess. And he misses. Don't know why he's shooting that shot. We'll take it. Pass up and Bronny pulls up an awful shot. What the hell was that? Tied game still. Tari Eason back up the other way. Tari passes to Jabari Smith. Jabari's gonna get the screen from Tari Eason. He goes right. He's gonna go all the way on Bronny and the double team. Hold on. Jabari Smith, he fades away and he hits it. To potentially end the series, we now have our back against the wall. Donovan, six seconds left. The playoffs chance in all oh, jeopardy. Donovan pulls up and he misses. We have lost another championship to the Houston Rockets. This has definitely been a video. Screw it. I guess I gotta watch the celebration now. Is that Jericho Sims? Oh, Brandon Miller, finals MVP. Why is there a Cleveland player celebrating with them? What happened? How did you switch sides? Who was that? Donovan, I can't say did much in his return, but he did something, I guess. Evan Mobley played 40 minutes and shot two for 11. Yo, he might gotta go. He actually might have to go. I never really thought about it. Brandon Miller, 24 points, eight rebounds, four assists. Steph Curry retired. Jimmy but Butler retired. How do we have the second best odds? Chicago, what happened? With the fifth pick, I'll probably just keep it and draft another young player. You know what? My plan as of right now is to go one more year with this team exactly. Let them approve and everything. Oh, Chris Washington Jr. or Elijah Arenas? Screw it. I'm going to take Gilbert's son. They were the same overall anyways. Elijah has one more bad, so I'll consider it a win. We actually have 16 players on the team, so I can't even sign a free agent if I wanted to. And Garland and Mitchell both regressed. Mitchell regressed pretty decent amount at 30 years old. Um, The team has probably done worse than what they normally do in the simulation. I might have messed around a couple too many times. With that being said, I don't care. We're winning the ring this year. I'm going to trade Zongye for some more Bulls picks just because, well, they worked 
out pretty well last time go back to a 13 man rotation during the season plus every single person in the rotation is an 80 overall or higher funnily enough Bron bryce is the lowest overall and he's the starter but it's because when i was doing the 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 rotate the positions last season at the beginning of the year so i knew i drafted a lot of small forwards when i was changing all their positions to like their best position bryce was the only one who got better at power forward so i just made him a power forward nobody else is a power forward isaiah collier wins most valuable player Bronny wins six man of the year Giannis dpoi another donovan most improved and we won 71 games you know it's really crazy to think that donovan got injured last year for the rest of the season and we we're running a 13 man rotation like buddy how bad does our luck have to be you know thinking of that any injuries this year uh no it doesn't look like it and also i mean that these two are gas that is crazy first round against miami we win 4-0 second round against orlando we win 4-1 and third round against atlanta up 3-1 and 4-1 in the finals yet again marcus johnson in the rockets marcus johnson yeah there, there you go a better point guard for him and we are back to rematch him with donovan fully healthy at least i believe so i, I haven't checked but uh yeah for everybody still fully healthy first game is a wash Bronny and bryce combined for what is that 30 something 33 points second game is a loss oh my god evan mobley in parentheses transported to another world through magical wardrobe trying to save a lion or something is done for the season can you actually tell me what he did dislocated left shoulder out for the season we now have aaron bradshaw starting at center who's a good center but my god the worst possible luck in nba history for that to happen right now at that point at, at, oh my god we're about to lose another game rockets out rebounded us 7 to 21 offensive rebounds and 27 to 36 defensive they had more blocks now the last game that we lost we actually out rebounded them so that just shows you how much of a difference it is without mobley we had not been out rebounded by them this entire series not once bradshaw only had three rebounds and Jalen duran had 10 okay we're gonna tie it up bradshaw there you go he, he led us with 24 points and 10 rebounds a career best 24 points in his starting role he also played wait he played 37 minutes or no 30 minutes because well we don't really have another center back in cleveland and we are smoking them up three two in the series now missing our best overall player on our roster and we're gonna lose the next game they they force a game seven jabari smith drops 40 but forget all that it is finally gonna happen screw it jump in the cleveland cavaliers are your 2000 and whatever the hell nba champions as gilbert arenas son dribbles out the ball he's not even supposed to be in the rotation but he is because evan mobley got hurt darius garland hops up on the sanction or on the on the scores table and who will be the finals mvp it is ian jackson we forgetting he's on the oh my god there's a second ian jackson yet again the glitch happened he's right there darius had 20 through it to 22 in the final game and marcus johnson at 21 and now with that being said i know i've been here for a minute already 16 6 and 5 for him to win this the 2028 championship my god it's been a minute five years into the simulation evan mobley my god get back on the floor why didn't you never get back was he available to play this last game i don't even know who cares we, we won well i mean i drafted a whole young team that's incredibly good and will only continue to get better um i feel like i'd be doing a disservice if i stopped here if we lose whenever we lose though i'll stop it if even if it's next year see a pablo Prigioni. they have not been accepting any any uh league meetings deals whatever the hell you want to call it yeah mad mad top 10 picks we got the second pick in the draft i'm gonna draft this dude cameron barnes he's a power forward and we've been needing some more big men with our next pick i'll take another bryce by the name of bryce curry and our next pick i'm gonna trade it for some future picks because we're kind of running out of roster spots anyways donovan is down to a 90 overall the fourth best on the team i have 17 players in the roster which means that i have to trade two of them Caden boozer you can get out of here for another two bulls first and bryce curry i hope you have a long and prosperous career but it won't be in cleveland buddy kick rock see ya i just i just drafted him too it's a cold world out here starting lineups the same for the next season we are 51 and 3 we won 75 games this season and at this point i'm gonna just watch well, you first off let me make sure there's no injuries oh donovan's kind of hurt we'll get back in the rotation then screw you Don't let me like playoffs let's see what happens first rounds of win second rounds of win third rounds of win we're in the finals against the rockets yet again lost the second game won the third lost another one duran is injured but nobody else is so that should be fine up three two and won another ring good job koa pete finals mvp off the bench we got some garbage picks at the end of the draft i'm gonna train him for some hornets picks okay this is actually insane elijah arenas got a two to four month stretch fracture in the g league i mean in the summer league i have never seen someone get that serious of an injury in the summer league because i already know because i just picked up his uh, team option as you know for being a young player and he did not have an injury so he got it during summer league 74 wins this year oh great evan mobley's injured but i think he's coming back right now so that's good guys one of the most injury prone 2k players i've ever seen i think we're going to the finals we are yet again donovan is the mvp of the east currently we got no injuries and we are playing the, a new team the spurs but i believe that is yep that's 
Victor, and Isaiah Collier, the former MVP. We lost the first game, lost the second game, won the third game, won the fourth, won the fifth, up 3-2, tied 3-3. It's game seven, and we're going to smoke them in game seven for our third straight ring. Ian Jackson, 30 points in the elimination game, and he wins finals MVP yet again. Got even more picks that I don't want. I think I've ruined uh, Elijah Arenas' career, though. Maybe even Cameron Barnes. Both of these guys are supposed to be way better, but because I've had them on the bench, they just haven't become as good as you'd expect. I'm going to trade for two Memphis Grizzlies picks, first rounders with three of our first. And I got a second round pick, but I'm not even going to trade it. They could just draft a scrub with it that I won't, I won't even. You know what? Screw it. Give them a two way deal. Like they literally even tell me to not even accept Elijah Arenas' team option. But nope, you go keep coming back, buddy. You're going to serve your sentence on the bench. That's actually, I didn't even mean it as a joke, but I guess it applies since, you know, what his dad did. Holy hell, we have a lot of free agents. My God. I can't even offer all of them right now. Oh, Cole Pete tried to leave. Well, he won't be, buddy. Donovan's down to an 87. I don't even know if he'll be starting anymore. 68 wins this year. Oh, man. Almost lost in the conference finals. Went to game seven. Bronny wins finals or, or whatever, conference MVP. Playing the Rockets in the finals. 3-1, 4-1. And you know what? We've proved all we've had to. That is four rings for Bronny James and company. Cleveland, this is for you. Yada, yada, bada, bing. He now has tied his father. And so has his other son, actually. And Darius Garland broke his leg, too, and we still won. No wonder Bronny was playing that well. That is the Cleveland expedition for today. Shout out to the Cavaliers. I hope you have a bright and prosperous future in real life, that is, because in the game, well, uh, yeah, we definitely figured it out. It's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Until next time. Cut.